arena is packed to the max and ready for action, and so are we. Well, Byron Saxon alongside my returning broadcast colleague, uh, Wade Barrett. Um, what a pleasure it is to be back in town. Now, let me remind you, last time I was in this broadcast booth, there was a man named Justin Gabriel in the ring. I beat the living daylights out of him. We're going to see him again tonight, and I think he's going to need to eyes in the back of his head. Well, it's a six-man tag match. Kurt Hawkins, Jackson Andrews, and Vance Archer team up against the Florida Tag Team Champions, Brett DiBiase, Joe Henning, and Justin Gabriel. The following contest is a tag team match together for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Donnie Marlowe, the team of Jimmy and Jules Russo. Well, the Polynesian power pack together tonight is twins. Jimmy and Jules Uso in action, and I, I suppose Donnie Marlowe is just, just there for more support. Well, look at the attire of Donnie Marlowe. It looks like he means business. It looks like a gladiator in there. <laughs> He's a warrior. And their opponents, the team of Titus O'Neill and Big E Langston. Oh, here are two big guys who could probably do some damage in a dark alley, huh? Well, they certainly look mean, but uh, they're two very strong, well-conditioned athletes. Uh, the one weakness that I can think of is just their lack of in-ring experience. They just had a, a handful of matches between them, and uh, they're in with a couple of very good hands in there with the Usos tonight. Well, Titus O'Neill, uh, in some circles known as the player's rep, a guy in the know and knows a lot of people along with his partner, Big E Langston. Big E for enormous? Quite possibly. He's certainly got enormous packs, but this player's rep business, I'm not so sure about it myself. Are you, uh, are you a player, Saxton? Uh, I'm not a player, just a commentator. Okay. Let me, let me uh, speaking of commentating, you know, okay, uh, so you waltz up here, this week on FCW. Now you're my you're my, my broadcast partner again. After a couple weeks ago, you leave me hanging to go attack Justin Gabriel. I'll mean, well, watch out here, Big E. Uh, what, what's going on in your head? Listen, Saxton, as always, I'm available to the highest bidder. A high bidder came along for me to do some work on Justin Angel. So when did this bid come in? When, when were you informed that you had a job? Now, to do? come on, Saxton. You know as well as I do that the kind of work I get involved in is legally questionable and uh, well, apparently therefore it is. highly that's, confidential. That's so I think me. you should ask me no further questions on it, and you should maybe focus on this match. Yeah, just keep your cell phone silent this time, won't you? Huh? Always at the ready, Saxton. Well, that's, uh, I'm not sure if that's Jimmy or Jules Uso, citing the fact that they are twins, but... Well, looking over, I think that's Jimmy Uso. Control Big E Langston L, who is displaying his unfathomable power. Raw power, Saxton. Oh! Big E Langston, former defensive tackle at Iowa University. That's the power factor in there right now. You know those 22 inch arms, 60 inch chest, 700 pound squat. And yeah, talking some trash to Jules Uso. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Good idea there, Jules. I'm surprised Big E can fit into that bottom rope with what? those pecs. Oh! oh. Well, for a moment there, it seemed like Piggy Langston was dodging defenders on the football field. Got past Donnie Marlowe, but Jimmy Uso was there to finish the job, or, or Jules, rather. Well, it's important that you mention Donnie Marlowe there. He sees himself almost as the insurance policy for this team of the Usos. So, insurance policy and moral support, right? Well, moral support always goes a long way. Look at him on the outside cheering his man on. We've seen before trios in FCW tend to do very well in the tag division. Just look at what the Doobusters achieved. Two-time FCW tag champions. That's never been done before, Saxton. Well, Jimmy and Jules Uso had the advantage of deception. You never quite know who you're in there with. By the time you realize it, well, you're in a bad position like Big E. Titus O'Neill on the outside really wants to get into this matchup, but unless Big E Langston can get I, I, away I from these if, if marauding... You're Titus if you're Titus O'Neill, do you really want to get into this matchup? Well, he doesn't want to lose the match, but uh, if you look at the viciousness of these Usos, um, uh, it might be wise to stay on the outside. I almost saw Big E trying to reach for the tag. Oh, spinning, flying elbow by Jimmy Uso. <laughs> Such a very slick, efficient style you see here from the Uso Twins. 
Admiring their work, but <laughs> only Big E uh, get an inch. I don't know if this is why it's talking trash to the guy. Shouldn't you try to beat him? Oh. Whoa! Where'd that come from? There we go. Defensive tackle strength. He's also got a freestyle wrestling background, and we saw technique in that. Great belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Now reaching for the tag. In comes Jimmy Uso. Biggie reaching for Titus, but not so much. Last minute had to be there in time by Jimmy Uso. So you get the feeling when you see Jimmy and Jules Uso Teaming up here. I mean, these two could team up blindfolded and still be aware of each other's maneuvers. That's how well they know each other. That's how well they work work well with each other. Almost a telepathy in there, Saxton. Look how well this is working. They're sliding for added momentum into the Signature rear chin stuff. lock. Cinching back with all his strength and pressure, trying to reduce the air supply of Biggie Langston. Well, Biggie Langston, a very eloquent young man. He's well versed in bodybuilding, but not so fluent in the art of sports entertainment. Those elbows not as powerful and effective as I think Biggie would like, but the belly to back is. Well, judging by his fight in this match, he's definitely one to look out for in the future, but he desperately needs to make that tag to Titus O'Neill. Titus O'Neill fresh on the outside, and this is his big opportunity. Jimmy Uso is rocked. Biggie trying to shake off the cobwebs, trying to inch closer to his corner. He sees him, and here comes Big Titus. Oh, oh, he's a big clothesline. Titus O'Neal. Dominant outside the ring, and now trying to establish dominance on the inside, and watch Donnie Marlowe. Oh, well. Titus O'Neal exploding in there. Thanks for coming, Donnie. Titus is running the show now. I don't think things are looking good if your last name is Uso. Wow. This Titus O'Neill has to be one of the strongest men in the building. Cover. And Jules just in time to save the pinning predicament. And now Big E comes in. Well, Jimmy Uso wasn't kicking out of that one. He needed his twin there. We have Big E and Jules on the outside. Titus and Jimmy Uso on the inside. Jimmy Counter rolls him up. Give the assist to Marlo, come on. Here are your winners, Jimmy and Jules Uso. Well, Jimmy and Jules Uso and their insurance policy, <laughs> Donnie Marlo, take another look at what happened here. All four men in the ring, Big E taking out Jules Uso, but leave it up to Jimmy Uso, one step quicker rolling through, and Donnie Marlo with the assist and it's the Polynesia Power Pack, victorious. Well, the insurance policy certainly paid dividends on that one. You have to do whatever you can do to win here in FCW. Folks, coming up next, folks, it's been a war of words between these two men, but finally they will get it on. Johnny Curtis, Eli Cottonwood, next. In Tampa, Florida, at the St. Pete Times Forum, comes a TV event where tickets start at $20. This is SmackDown. See your favorite superstars live and in action, including the rated R superstar Edge, The Undertaker, The Animal Batista, Rey Mysterio, Chris Jericho, and more. SmackDown comes to Tampa. Tickets go on sale April 3rd, starting at $20. WWE, the best value in entertainment. Does this... is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing 245 pounds, Johnny Curtis. Well, the mentality of Johnny Curtis is consistently one of the unexpected. You never know what you're going to get. You never know what you're going to see. But what I do know is that tonight, Johnny Curtis is going to get his wish against FCW's Conductor of Destruction. Conductor of destruction, I like that, Saxon. Yeah, You've been you working like on this, haven't you? Well, I try. 